Alright, yeah, this is a patron from Chris, back with my faves, the Tragically Hip, and this is just such a, such a Tragically Hip type, such a Gord Downey type, I should say, locked in the trunk of a car, I can just imagine this, but yeah, let's go. Bye. 
I need a live of that. If there's a live, I need to hear a live because I could just picture God. Do you know what as well? The beginning of it, I could feel, I could feel like, like the calm before the storm. You could just feel it revving up and then boom. But what was great as well, which just made it twice as hard is that God didn't, Raise, lift his voice to match the drop of the tune until much later on he kept that kind of low low end thing which just made it sound so attitude like so swaggering attitude and that's what i was thinking i want to see this live because yeah and then obviously once you get to the end and boom, he takes off with the like, like how he normally sings. But that keeping it just like low end whilst it's rocking was so, it just gave it so much attitude because it was like he was so relaxed, but the tune is like blasting behind him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this was a well. As I say, um, there's certain people that uh, it wouldn't really matter what they did. I'll still say that they're good. And tragically, hip falls on that list. But th I thought this was fire. Yeah, I. But like I say, I am incredibly biased at this point to the tragically hip. So like I say, same with Chris Cornell, Talking Heads. There's just certain bands that. I don't really care what they do. I'm going to say it's great, and but it is great. That's why it's always great. But yeah, absolute fire. As always, from our dear Tragically Hip. But yeah, yeah, fire. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.